Zendesk tutorial for customer service. How to use Zendesk as a complete beginner. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I am going to be showing you how to use Zendesk as a complete beginner and how you can use Zendesk for customer service to actually run a successful business online. So let's get started. First, what you have to do is you will simply open up Zendesk.com and you will land on this platform right here. Zendesk is one of the most famous customer service platform out there that allows you to do customer service it has different options and tools all the features that we need in order to create a customer service online so without any further ado let's get started with it so if you do not have an account with zendesk you will actually have to sign up click on free trial and you will be able to get your free trial by just entering your email address and then you have to set up your password of course and enter your first name last name your phone number and then verify your email you will get your own dashboard so i have signed into my zendesk right here this is one of the accounts that i created for you guys and i'll show you all of the features that you will be getting with the free trial and then what are the different tools we can use and how to actually get the most out of zendesk as a complete beginner and so this is the dashboard for zendesk and it's a very easy platform to use not that complicated at all so the main dashboard has our own uh, some of the insights and overview of our account that what we are doing now as a complete beginner you will not have any tickets created or any um, insights and stats but this is what it will give you an idea that this is how the open tickets will look like you will get your ticket stats right here good bad sold uh, then we have ticket require your attention um, and you will get all the insights here now the question is how to create the tickets and how we will be able to add different contacts we will get this option right here this panel so this is our home which is the get started option we get right here then we have our views, customers, organizations, and reporting. So let's go to views now. In views, what I will be able to do is this is where I will get that how many unassigned tickets I have, how many tickets I have resolved, how many tickets are pending. All of the views are given right here. You can see that this is the view option and you will get all of your tickets here. Let me show you how to create a ticket. You will get this option right here, which is the quick add option. It allows you to add a ticket, user, organization, and search. So we have three things to create. Let's go ahead and create a ticket first. All right, so this is where we create a new ticket. The first thing is going to be adding a user. Now this will show you how to create a user. You can create a user from here. Then we have the user option here as well in customers. So I will create a user from here. Click on add user and it will allow you to add a new user really quickly. Let's add the name and email. After entering name and email, you have to enter if it's a end user or a staff member. So it's an end user and I'm gonna click on add. There you go, we have our own user now. This is going to be the requester. Now we have to enter an assignee. So this is the person in my team that is going to give them support. So for that, I will click on support option check all of the members that i have added to my zendesk how to enter a you know new member so you can add it very easily to going to your profile and i'll show you how to actually invite a new staff member so just enter one of your staff members that you already have so i'm going to assign it to myself then we have our followers so if you have any follow uh, followers right here you can enter it and it's just a optional but if you have like an agent who follows the ticket you can enter them here moving on we can add different tags to our tickets to actually organize them and work on them better so i'm going to add a tag that what i do is some of the tags that i have created are urgent i will keep in mind that this is actually urgent then we have new customer and then we can add the tags such as important so we have these three tags now moving on we have to enter the subject so let's say this ticket is for a person and they are having a trouble with signing up so i'm gonna just type in the name and then i will enter their information right here like whatever information uh, they gave me right here we have a public reply or i can actually reply them personally 
then this is going to be the person I am replying to and I will enter whatever I have to say to them. So I'll just enter my text right here, a reply that I have to give to this person. So once you have entered your text right here, your reply, we can also add a link. Of course, sometimes we need to send them a personal link, a customized link through which you, they can sign up or they can solve the problem. For now, I do not have any link because we actually need something from them. I need their, to see their ID. Um, and now they will be able to actually get back to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on submit as new and my new ticket will be saved. And this ticket will be the reply will be sent to one of the user that I just added. And you can see we also have this one right here, a sample ticket, but this is the ticket that I have. And you can see your unsolved ticket. Once it's sold, what you can do is you can click on it and it will be sold and it will be added to the solved tickets. Or you can actually select it and add it out, merge it, mark as spam or delete it. Uh, so I'm not going to do that and I will just leave it. So this is how you create a ticket on Zendesk. It's really easy to do. Then let's go to the add option again. And this time we're going to go to organization because I showed you how to add a user. It's really easy. Just click on user and you enter their name, email. And if you're adding a staff member, then you can enter their name, email, and then you have to actually select their role. If they are agent, light agent or administrator. Uh, so I'm not going to add anyone right now. And let's move on to organization. So to enter a, a new organization, let's say that I'm working with a team and I'm doing customer service for a team. Uh, so what I can do is I will enter th the name of the organization and then their domain. So that's what I'm going to do. Medium and their domain is perfect. Click on add and you will see a new organization will be created. Uh, so this is my organization right here. And what I can do now is I can actually add more users into one organization. It's like having a company and having a group of users. Uh, then we have subject right here, requesters, requested, updated, group and assignees. This will allow me to create and manage my, you know, customer service better. And I will be able to divide them into organization and work better or on it and so this is how you create an organization on zendesk moving on we have the report option now report is really important when it comes to a customer service and zendesk allows us to actually get really good insight we have zendesk support zendesk guide and token chat for, to help us and in reporting i can actually go with talk live as well and it will show me all of my current queue activities if there are any callbacks in queue if there are any total calls in queue i will be able to see them right here and the average time too uh, for the calls that i make with zendesk when it comes to making calls and sending messages to a specific person you can go to your customers right here and it will show you your customers so this is the customer that i just added right i can open this customer up and then I will be able to check all of the information for one customers. And now I can actually enter a new ticket for them right here. I can call them. I can send them an email or I can actually do different things as well, such as creating notes for them and checking out their activity and security settings for them as well. Zendesk also asks you that what is your primary source of communicating? So I added uh, email. So that is why I'm focusing on email. If you had added calls, it will allow you to actually work with calls and messages. So I have opened up Zendesk uh, now settings and this is what uh, your admin center looks looks like and you can check your workspaces, object and rules, channels and integrations. We can integrate different applications to our Zendesk to actually customize our Zendesk experience and do a successful customer service. Zendesk is an all-in-one customer service platform. It's a really good platform when it comes to um, for your customer service. As a complete beginner, it will be really easy for you to use Zendesk. And now you know how to use Zendesk and if it's the right platform for you or not. This brings us to the end. I hope that I was a big help to you. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Turn on bell notification and subscribe to the YouTube channel.